Hi everyone and welcome back to Mike's Music Mondays. Today we'll be discussing a song off Mike Wheeler's official Spotify playlist and how I think it applies to his character and storyline so far. Today I'll cover track 4 which is I Ran So Far Away by A Flock of Seagulls. Just like last week, we are confronted with a song and music video that shows discomfort about women. In this song, it talks about being hypnotized by a girl, arguably being compelled or forced to her. When we look at the music video, we see the singer in a room full of mirrors, almost as if to hold up the truth to them. But they're also trapped in this room and being pursued by women, whom they are actively running away from and dodging physical interaction. We see this with Mike most notably with Elle, from pulling her hands off his face while kissing to standing frozen twice when she initiates or kisses him. The second time he does this with his eyes wide open. The song talks about wanting to run away from the situation, but they're compelled and forced to stay. In the lyrics towards the end, we have, Reached out a hand to touch your face. You're slowly disappearing from my view. Reached out a hand to try again. This shows an effort in trying to fix the situation twice. In Mike's case, he wants to make up with Elle and tell her his full truth, why he has been unable to say I love you to her to her face. As of now, he has only said a half-truth, and he hasn't actually even said it to her face yet. Due to his insecurities, he is afraid to lose Elle, because Mike feels worthless without someone needing him. This is due to the trauma he hasn't unpacked in four seasons. Mike is running away from confronting that, and he is running away from being honest with Elle. What if, what if they don't like the truth? Because he is afraid of her reaction to the truth. Mike Wheeler is gay and incapable of loving Elle in the way she wants to be loved, romantically. This is why we are seeing this reoccurring theme in his official playlist. He is running away from himself. He is running away from the fact that he's not attracted to girls, and that's scary to him. But that's all we have for this week. I highly recommend watching last week's episode because you'll see it's the exact same messaging. If you want proof Mike is gay, I have an hour-long video compiling that here on YouTube. See you again next week for the song In the Face of Evil and on Wednesday for Will's Playlist. Bye, nerds!